In this video, I'm going to show you how to download shaders for Minecraft Bedrock 1.21.111. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up any web browser like you normally would. For this video, we're going to be utilizing Google. Alright then from here, please go to the search bar and look up mcpecentral.com. mcpecentral.com is a free website where you're able to find shaders to download for Minecraft Bedrock. So anyways, all you want to do from here is you want to go to the top left and select on these three bars. Then all you want to do is you want to scroll down until you see this option that says shaders. Alright, and then you're going to get a a bunch of options over here so now all you want to do is you want to go ahead and scroll down until you find some shaders to download all right and you just want to double check that whenever you're downloading a shader that it actually does work for phones so for example over here it says top three best shaders for low-end phones so we're going to go ahead and download one of these shaders right over here so yeah just double check that it says minecraft bedrock or phones and that is how you know it is going to work but anyways typically it is going to give you a bunch of information about the shader and stuff like that so go ahead and take a look at that but anyways, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on this download link right over here that says download. So just go ahead and press on it. Okay, now just for full transparency purposes, every single download link is going to look slightly different. Now, some downloads may require you to watch a few advertisements before you get the download. So again, just keep that in mind. And other times it is just directly going to give you the shader. So it really does depend. But anyways, all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and download the shader. So I'm just going to be downloading the laws shaders just like so. And then there you go. As you're able to tell, it will now say file downloaded. All right, so once you're done with that, we can now proceed to the next step. All right, so you want to open up the Google Play Store if you're on an Android device, and that is because we're going to be using some file management software, and if you're on an iOS, you could also do the same thing, but the iOS actually does have a built-in file manager, so you could just use that as well. But anyways, all you want to do is you want to go to the search bar and type in file manager just like so. Then you want to scroll down and you want to look for this app in particular. So make sure you download File Manager Plus. Now, there's many other options out there like Z Archiver and stuff like that. That will work as well. But I personally recommend using File Manager Plus because it is pretty easy to use in my opinion. So here's how it does look like and it is completely free. All right, so once you download it, go ahead and press on open. Then you're gonna get a bunch of folders that look like this, but do not worry, all you need to do is you need to locate the downloads folder right over here. So please go ahead and open it up. Then all you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and scroll down until you find the lodge shaders or whatever shader you're trying to download. So yep, here it is. And if for whatever reason, you could also use the search bar over here, but basically it is gonna give you a list of all the downloaded files on your system. So please go ahead and locate your shader. All right, then all you want to do is you want to long press on it just like so. Then you're going to notice that we're going to get a menu in the bottom. From here, please go ahead and select on rename. And you want to double check that the file name ends in a .mc pack. Not a .mc pack .zip or anything like that because that is not going to work. It needs to strictly end in .mc pack just like so. So as you're able to tell, it actually does work for us. So you want to go ahead and just make sure that it does end in a .mc pack. And once it ends in .mc pack, you'll notice that the file icon is going to look slightly different. And you just want to go ahead and long press on it one more time. And this time you want to press on these three dots that says more. Then go ahead and select on open with. Then make sure to go ahead and select on open with Minecraft. You may need to go ahead and scroll down a little bit, by the way, if it's your first time ever using this process. Then you just want to go ahead and press on just once or always. It doesn't really make a difference. It is going to be the same outcome regardless. And then it is automatically going to boot up Minecraft for you. It is going to say import started. And then there you go. It will now say successfully imported the law shaders. All right, so now let me show you guys how to actually apply this shader. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on settings just like so. And then you want to go to the left menu and scroll down until you see global resources. Then make sure to go ahead and select on my packs. And then you should see that your shader will be in this list. So yep, here is the law shaders. As you're able to tell, I also did download a bunch of other stuff as well. But here is the law shaders. You just want to go ahead and press on activate right over here. And then, yep, you'll now notice that it will say it is activated in the top right over here. And once you're done with that, what you could also do is go ahead and select on video. And where it says graphics mode, you could set that to vibrant visuals. And if you do have access to vibrant visuals, I always suggest turning it on because it is just going to make your shader look way more better. You can still run the shader on fancy mode, but if you're able to run vibrant visuals, that is really preferred. So go ahead and select on vibrant visuals just like so. Then go ahead and close out of your settings. And all you want to do from here is want to load into any Minecraft game or any Minecraft server. All right, guys, and here we are in our Minecraft world. And as you're able to tell, this shader actually does work and it does look honestly pretty good. And we are all running this on our mobile device. So that is pretty cool if you do ask me. So if you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.